What we're going to be going over here is activity-based costing or ABC costing, and we're going to see how it fits into the five-part cost accounting system. Okay, so first here for first part of our cost accounting system, as far as an input measurement basis, well, for activity-based costing, you could use actual historical costing. But what's normally done is you look at some prior period costs, which would be your actual historical cost, or you could use budgeted cost here, and they would be used to develop the ABC unit costs here. So you could you be using your input measurement basis here as actual historical cost or actual cost that the company has. Now, is moving over to our part here for our inventory valuation method. Uh, Activity-based costing would fall under the inventory valuation method. So if you used uh, your inventory valuation here method as activity-based costing, then uh, you would take whatever inventory or your valuation here of your inventory, and it wouldn't be going into any cost accumulation method here because it's not part of that. And as far as cost flow assumptions, well, really what you would be doing here for your activity-based cost, you would really be moving them directly into a perpetual inventory here. So that would be for a part five here of our cost accounting system. We'd be recording our inventory interval here as perpetual inventory based on our activity-based costing. But this activity-based costing, it could be a standalone system here. And really that's what you end up doing with it when you're looking at your costing here. But it could be a standalone system only to gather information here for the management. And so they wouldn't, they could be using some other inventory method here, but they'd be gathering information here under a standalone system here because it gathers accurate information. And then based on the information we have or the cost information we have, we could use that uh, to enhance the accuracy of our product cost here for under a cost accumulation methods, either for job order costing, process costing, and so forth. But yeah, the key is here, do we use this, invent is the inventory valuation method here uh, based on activity costs. And really, uh, what you're doing here at the activity cost, it's really a resource consumption model, and it really increases the accuracy here of our product costs here. So uh, the question is, are you going to use it as a standalone unit here to, uh, for management to uh, manage your uh, other product costs here or your other uh, costing um, situations here? Or are you using it actually as the inventory valuation method? But the point is here, it's not a cost accumulation method, but it can be used. The information coming out of your activity-based costing here, if it's a, just a standalone uh, information system here uh, to develop your product costs more finely, you can use it for uh, information that's going into job order crossing, process costing, like we meant here. But if it's, a, if it's used here as the inventory valuation method, uh, the uh, costs here would be going, again, directly into a perpetual inventory account here for recording your inventory interval here. Okay, so let's just review what we've talked here about here. So activity-based costing, that can be used as an inventory valuation method, as we mentioned. It's really for improved accuracy, really is accomplished by tracing costs to the products, to the activities and that through activity costing hint. And then these activity costs are traced to the products uh, that use these activities. So we really have a two-step process here. We have to determine the cost of the activities here, and then we can trace the cost of the activities to the products that really use these activities. And then again, ABC costing can be a separate standalone system designed only to obtain more accurate information for management's decision making. And the other thing is if ABC replaces, ABC costing replaces the tr traditional full absorption or variable costing, it becomes the company's inventory valuation method. Then inventory based costs flow through to the perpetual inventory accounts like we mentioned. And then following up here, whether ABC costing is used as a replacement for traditional inventory valuation or as a standalone method here, it Im provides information about how and why resources are consumed. Activity-based costing is a resource consumption model that can provide a wealth of information to aid in decisions concerning products and process improvements. And then finally, one other thing here. Uh, tracing product-related 
administrative marketing and distribution cost to the product inventories and that's really what activity based costing is it's taking all these administrative all these overhead costs here uh, through sales marketing and other engineering functions within the company here and they're allocating it to these product inventories now uh, through activity based costing uh, you would be doing that here but it's not really a generally accepted procedure here allowed for external reporting so any external reporting if you used activity based costing would have to be corrected your activity based costing would have to be uh, corrected uh, taking out these uh, administrative and marketing costs here but really the administrative marketing sales and engineering costs that goes into activity based uh, costing inventories here is vital here to determine the actual cost of the inventories but for reporting purposes you have to take it out of your inventory valuation here for external reporting purposes only to make that point okay so that pretty much summarizes as our activity-based costing accounting system and how it fits into a five-part accounting system